More on MS Word 2010. Microsoft Word or MS Word is part of the MS Office suite and offers many convenient and useful ways of creating, formatting and editing documents. One of the handy tools that can enhance a Word document is the Format Painter. When you have selected text and graphics formatting, borders and fills, etc. for a part of the document, then you don't need to do the same formatting for another part of the document. By using Format Painter, you can apply text and basic graphics formatting from one part of the document to another. It will apply a similar font size, style, font type, color, borders, fills, etc. Format Painter is available in Clipboard Group of Home tab. Follow these steps to use Format Painter. Select the text whose formatting you want to copy. Select Format Painter button from the Clipboard Group of Home tab. The pointer changes to a paint brush icon. Click and drag the pointer over the text you want to apply the formatting. The same formatting will be applied to this text. Subscript CO2 and H2O are the chemical formulae of carbon dioxide and water respectively. To write these and other scientific equations, we use subscripts. As in this CO2, the number 2 is written below the baseline. Such characters written below the baseline are called subscript. To use subscript feature of MS Word, follow these steps. Select the characters you want to subscript like 2 in CO2. Click on the Home tab. Click on Subscript option in the Font group of Home tab. The characters will be subscripted. Superscript Now, suppose you want to write a mathematical formula A square plus BC. Now, in this, A, B, C are written in normal font, but if you see 2, then 2 is written slightly above A. This is superscript. We say that 2 is a superscript on A. Superscript will always be created above the line of text. To write superscript text, follow these steps. Select the characters you want to superscript. Click on the Home tab. Click on the Superscript option. The characters will be superscripted. MS Word is very user-friendly and its features help to make your work easier. In a document, you can search for any word. There are times when you have repeatedly misspelt a word or written a name wrong, which is going to appear in several places. The Find and Replace feature will help in such cases. Find and Replace feature of MS Word allows you to quickly search for a text in your document. It also provides you with the facility to replace the search text with an alternate text. To find a particular text in a document, for example, he, follow these steps. Click on the Home tab. From the Editing group, Click the Find button. Find and Replace dialog box will appear. In the Find What box, enter the text or word that you want to find in the document. For example, he. Now, press Find Next button. The first occurrence of the entered word he in the document will be highlighted. Keep pressing Find Next button to see all the occurrences of the word. To see all the occurrences of the word he in the entire document, click on Find In button and select Main Document. 
all the occurrences of the word he will be highlighted together. Now, if you want to replace this word he in one, some or all its occurrences, follow these steps further. In the Find and Replace dialog box, click on Replace tab. In the Find What box, type the text that you want to search, like he. In the Replace With box, enter the text that you want to replace with the existing word, like she. If you now press Find Next button, the first occurrence of the searched word will be highlighted. If you now press Replace button, this occurrence of text or word will be replaced. The next occurrence of the text or word will be highlighted. Keep pressing Replace button to replace the text or word with desired text or word. To replace all the occurrences in one go, press Replace All button. An alert box will pop up after completing the replacement. This dialog box will also show the number of replacements done in the document. Click OK to close the dialog box. Page formatting In a document, page formatting is used to describe the layout of the page. Some of the features that can be added and changed in a document through page formatting are Page border, size, orientation, paragraph and line spacing. The layout of a page is its orientation. If you take a paper which is rectangular in shape and hold it lengthwise, this is called portrait mode. By default, Word documents are in portrait mode. You can also hold a paper horizontally. This is called the landscape mode. Follow these steps to change the layout of your page to landscape mode. Click on the page layout tab. Then in the page setups group, click on the orientation options. A pop-up menu appears which has two options, portrait and landscape. Select landscape from the pop-up menu. Now your document will be formatted as landscape. Page formatting also allows you to choose page size. Whatever we write on a Word document, ultimately it is printed on paper in the form of a report or letter or a bulky document. The writing area of MS Word is called a page and by default paper size is 8.5 by 11 inches which is the standard size called letter in most printers and copier machines. MS Word offers a variety of page sizes. Follow these steps to change the size of the page. On the Page Layout tab, click the Size option. A drop-down menu will appear. The current page size is highlighted. Click on the desired predefined page size like A4. The page size of the document will change like it will change to A4. Page formatting also allows you to choose how the text is presented in a document through paragraph spacing. Paragraphs divide a page more logically and text in the paragraph becomes more manageable as compared to writing continuously without any paragraph. The amount of space between paragraphs, both above and below, is called paragraph spacing. MS Word provides the facility to customize the amount of space required before or after the paragraph. The spacing is counted on the basis of points, like 10 points, 15 points, etc. To change the paragraph spacing, follow these steps. Select the paragraphs where you want spacing to be changed. Click on Page Layout tab. Now go to Spacing option of Paragraph Group. You will see two options under Spacing, Before and After. 
before is the spacing before the paragraph and after is the spacing after the paragraph. The PT next to the value denotes points. Set the value of either of the boxes or both the boxes to change the spacing between the paragraphs. Apart from spacing, you can also set paragraph indent in a document. Paragraph indent is the space which you leave from the left and right margins of the page. The indents are measured in inches. To change the indent of a paragraph, follow these steps. Select the paragraph where you want to change the indent. Change the value of left and right in the indent option of paragraph group of page layout tab. The left option will change the left indent and right option will change right indent. To enhance the text in a document, borders and shading are used. Page borders are the margins on the four sides of a page. To change or apply a border on a page, just follow the steps. Click the Page Layout tab. Click the Page Borders option from the Page Background group. Border and Shading dialog box appears with varieties of border patterns. By default, Page Border tab will be active. Select a border style and click OK. The selected border pattern will be applied to your page. Print a document. Printing a document means taking the hard copy of the document. You can print a document once the document is finalized in all respects. To print the documents, follow these steps. Click the File tab and select the Print command. The Print Settings window appears. You can change the setting as desired. The preview can be seen on the right hand. Select the pages you want to print. You have the option to print all pages, current page or a range of pages. You can also select the number of copies. Select the printer which is connected to the system from the drop down list and click on OK button. The document will be printed on paper as per the options selected by you in the print dialog box.